first look review turns boring into a good word. Some people just want a simple sedan that drives really well. After several years of keeping the 6th generation Jetta in production, Volkswagen finally released the all-new 2019 Jetta at the Detroit Auto Show. Like the Golf, this new Jetta will finally ride on Volkswagen's MQB platform. The biggest changes to the Jetta are under the skin, but we were a bit underwhelmed by the finished product design. The Jetta supposedly takes styling cues from the gorgeous Arteon sedan, but in the same way that the Porsche 911 took cues from the Volkswagen Beetle. The Arteon may be a looker, but the Jetta won't exactly stand out in the crowd. The 6th generation Jetta never stood out because of its looks, but sold well because it had a well-appointed interior and excellent driving manners. The 2019 model should pick up where the old model left off by offering a premium driving experience at a non-premium price. Volkswagen models in the US have always punched above their price bracket and the new Jetta looks no different. The new 1.4-liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine may not win any drag races with its 147 horsepower and 187 pounds-feet of torque but the optional 8-speed automatic should ensure smooth power delivery. The Jetta is certainly not the most powerful car in this class. The Honda Civic offers up to 174 horsepower and even the new Kia Forte offers the same amount of power. However, neither of these cars can match the Jetta on torque and both are paired with CVT transmissions. CVT transmissions have come a long way in recent years, but we still prefer traditional automatics, especially 8-speed units. This should be a huge differentiating factor for the Jetta. Anyone who has ever driven an older CVT may still have bad memories of it. The Jetta can lure buyers away from the competition with its smooth 8-speed automatic. If the 8-speed transmission isn't enough of a selling point, the Jetta will also offer a traditional 6-speed manual. This is also a big improvement because the Golf still only comes with a 5-speed manual. The manual Jetta should be a bit more enjoyable, but enthusiasts will have to wait for Volkswagen to announce a new GLI model for the true fun to begin. A new GLI with the Golf GTI's performance package, 220 horsepower, and clever front differential would instantly rise to the top of the class, which includes new models like the Honda Civic C, Hyundai Elantra Sport and Nissan Sentra Nismo. Jetta may not have the power that enthusiasts crave, but it does have the comfort that most people expect. The new interior looks like a huge improvement over the previous Jetta. Volkswagen has thrown everything at this new car including the virtual cockpit display, which originally debuted in Audi models. Like most Volkswagen models, the interior looks more functional than stylish but it should be a nice place to sit. Of course, Volkswagen hasn't made the same mistake as other automakers and will include Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as standard to improve the infotainment experience. The Jetta should fare well in a heavily crowded segment that features giants like the Honda Civic and Toyota Corolla. The Jetta has long been one of the roomiest and upmarket competitors in this segment, and it should continue to be. The new Jetta may be a bit bland on styling, but there are people out there who don't want their affordable sedan to be as outlandish as the new Civic. Until the new GLI gets announced, enthusiasts likely won't pay much attention to the new Jetta, but we have high hopes that Volkswagen will do big things with its most popular US model. Volks
Volkswagen has announced full pricing information for its next-generation Jetta compact sedan. Starting prices range from $19,395 for the base S model to $27,795 for the SEL Premium. Starting at $19,395, or $100 less than the old model, the 2019 Volkswagen Jetta S features a standard 6-speed manual LED headlights and taillights, cloth seats, electric parking brake, and 6.5-inch touchscreen with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Upgrading to the 8-speed automatic requires an extra $800, a good price considering it was a $1,000 option on the previous base Jetta. SE models receive dual-zone automatic climate control, panoramic sunroof, leather-wrapped steering wheel and shift, leatherette upholstery and heated front seats. These models have the 8-speed transmission as standard, and the price tag jumps to $23,005. The Jetta R line, priced from $23,845, adds cosmetic upgrades such as a gloss black front grille, a specially designed rear bumper with dual exhaust, and a unique interior with two-toned black and grey seating and contrast stitching. Stepping up to the SEL trim level nets rain-sensing wipers, wrap-around ambient lighting, a 400-watt Beats audio system with 8 speakers, and an upgraded 8-inch touchscreen. Adaptive cruise control and lane-keeping assist are some of the standard safety features on this model, which starts at $25,265. At the top of the lineup sits the SEL Premium, starting at $27,795. Look for leather upholstery, navigation, ventilated front seats, side mirrors with integrated turn signals, and other premium touches. VW's pricing structure varies from some of the top cars in the segment. Starting prices for the Corolla range from $19,495 to $23,675, but the Honda Civic ranges from $19,730 to $27,590. Unfortunately, autonomous emergency braking isn't standard on the Jetta. But forward collision warning and autonomous emergency braking front assist is available on the base model for an extra $450. Meanwhile, SER line and SEL trims offer a $495 cold weather package that includes a heated steering wheel, heated rear seats and remote start. SEL Premium models include this package, available midway through the model year, as standard equipment. The 2019 Volkswagen Jetta comes with a 1.4-litre turbo for with 147 horsepower and 184 pounds-feet of torque. A more powerful GLI could join the lineup after the standard model launches in the second quarter of this year. Please click subscribe for more stories.